get the money, so I go get it. Hate means I do something right, so I'ma let them. All right, guys, before we get into this video, I want to let you guys know that I'm officially dropping a merchandise website. It's going to be linked up here right now, and it's also going to be linked down in the description below. It's going to have lots of stuff, sweatshirts, t-shirts, tank tops, long sleeves, crew necks. Everything is on the website. Super excited to get it out to you guys. Also, if you guys end up getting any merch, put it on your social medias, tag me, let me know, and I'll repost it. And thank you guys for buying merch. So, like I said, super excited to get that out to you guys. And yeah, I will see y'all in the video. What is up, guys? Big week ahead of us. As you guys know from the last vlog, we are headed out to Minnesota to play in the Minnesota Vikings Stadium. Playing three games, Illinois Friday, Michigan State Saturday, and then Minnesota Sunday. So, going to play some good teams, some Power 5 teams. First time we're going to be playing a Power 5 team this year. So, going to be a lot of fun, and it's going to be cool to experience a baseball game inside the Vikings Stadium. So, excited for that. After that, we are heading down to Elon to play a game on Tuesday. We have break this week, so we're just pretty much allowed to go straight from Minnesota to Elon and play that game. And then after the midweek game on Tuesday, we're going to take the hour drive down to NC State and we have a weekend series there to open up ACC play. So we're able to stay that Wednesday and Thursday. Probably going to practice those days and then prepare for the Friday, Saturday, Sunday against NC State, which will be a really tough test. Those guys are really good this year, so really looking forward to that series. going to be a lot of people in the stands there. But uh, yeah, it's like 12 o'clock right now. We're leaving at 7 a.m. tomorrow, so i got to be up early got to pack some extra stuff as well so hence the reason why i'm getting up a little bit earlier got to head over to the field pack up the rest of the stuff there get on the bus as we are busing to minnesota gonna be a nice little seven and a half hour drive got everything packed up as you guys can see now still waiting on some clothes to dry but other than that uh that's pretty much it for tonight so i will see y'all in the morning Minneapolis today at around 3 30 ish headed to the field head practice at around 4 30 as you guys have already seen it was pretty dope setup excited to play on that field for the next couple of days here this weekend and excited to see how the rest of the weekend goes about to head out to dinner with the boys gonna get some food and fueled up for tomorrow then tonight probably gonna crush out some stuff for a lot of new things coming y'all's way as you guys know there is a big announcement coming soon that I haven't released yet and I will release it soon I promise a couple of you guys may already know it if you do some really hard research but I highly doubt it so gonna get some work done on that stuff tonight and uh, kind of just chill out and then tomorrow is game day so gonna head out to dinner now and uh, get some food <music> It is the next day, about to head down, get lunch, and then after that we're gonna do scouting report and then head to the field. Got breakfast earlier this morning, just have been kinda chilling out, doing some stuff for y'all. Got a lot of stuff done last night, and got a good night's rest, which is really important. And then uh, we got games the next three days, so I will see y'all at the field. Let's go. Tyrell, who's got two strike ups already, he's showing that he's throwing strikes all day. And there's another strikeout, and at least a third. And there we see that ball's gonna get down. Oh. And we're gonna see Cole racing the third. That ball's headed home, and two Notre Dame runners have scored. Both Lamana and Coatsy score. Here's the one two. That ball right up the middle. And that ball gets into the hole. That will score two runners there. Yeah, and as you talk to start this inning, as that ball is put into the gap, great play there. No wow, way! Wow, that was a wonderful play by Carter Putz. That 2-0 pitch rocketed, and that one is gone. That ball is ripped by Coatsy. Brooks Coatsy takes the 2-0 pitch from Glassy and sends that one straight out. Runner goes, and that ball is ripped deep 
but another one that is going to be popped up to the center fielder. Oh my right. goodness! If they want to continue to be competitive in this game. That ball's ripped to left field, and that ball is gone. Same spot as Glassy let up before. That is a bomb by TJ Williams. They're taking advantage of that short fence in left as they've ripped two home runs today right outside of that fence for Notre Dame. Janice has the ability to do that as he rips a ball down the first baseline, and that will be the game there. We see Brannigan excited to get out of that bases loaded jam with Notre Dame coming out of today with the W. Got back to the hotel earlier in the day. It's like 11 o'clock. Chilling, went out, got dinner, just hung out with the boys for a little bit. Huge win today. Off to a 1 0 start this weekend. Early game tomorrow. We're leaving at like 8.05, so heading over to the field early. Gonna get breakfast in the morning and then uh, figure stuff out at the field, I guess. Pretty cool experience playing over there today for the first time. It's fun. Gonna hit the hay here in a little bit. Just watching Texas, Tennessee play. Gotta be up super early, but see y'all tomorrow. Good morning, vlog. It's around 7 a.m. We are about to head out here in like an hour. Just had breakfast. Went down and got the old uni. As y'all can see gonna be wearing green today excited about that as the green jerseys are probably my favorite so playing Michigan State today hopefully it's a massacre and uh, we have a little fun day so yeah uh, I will see y'all at the field Bertrand delivers this one inside no they will call that a strike three looking Big swing there, Eli, uh, Notre Dame's Brooks Coatsy out there backing up at, at right field. And Bertrand basically doing it himself there. The 0-0 tie here in Minneapolis. Williams productive in his first plate appearance. Sacrifice grounder to first base as he lifts this one fair over the outstretch arms of Pilot. And this will over. be a double. He's going, going for, for three. Triple. And he's going to get there, wow. diving in. Wow. Here in the bottom of the fifth. Another one lifted into play, but into right field. And Zaid Walker shows the range, but the tag and go will score the runner there. TJ Williams for MSU down one. This one popped up and caught. Great catch made by Brooks Coates. You can see all the players in the outfield. Brecker, here he is running to second base. Does not quite the third time. And nor does Peter on to first base. 35, another one of their relievers. As this one, oh, this could be that home run ball. Yes, it will. Wow, it is gone, Eli. How about that? And Notre Dame answers Michigan State after Michigan State made that big play. Notre Dame answers immediately counters back a really productive day on the mound and that is a strike out what's up guys huge win for the boys today we thought we were gonna kill them but it ended up being a closer game than we thought jam threw really well Brannigan with a bomb off to a 2-0 start this weekend and then we play tomorrow night against Minnesota which will be fun me and Finley are walking around right now it's windy and rainy so crappy weather but we're going to the Mall of America with my parents because they are in town to watch us play this weekend so gonna be a fun rest of the day it's only like two o'clock right isn't it like two is it three three o'clock got a lot of the day left anything you want to say not so awesome. <laughs> yeah, so heading to the mall, gonna get food, of course, and then we'll see where the rest of the day takes us. Got back from the mall just now. 
pretty dope experience. Cool to see all the shops and stuff that are at the mall. It was actually huge, as you guys saw. There were a lot of places to go. Checked out some stores, got some food. Also got some cookies from the Nestle Toll House store, so we're gonna munch on those in a little bit. But got the rest of the night. Probably gonna hit the hay a little bit earlier tonight. Get some extra sleep. Breakfast is at 9.30 tomorrow, I believe, so I get to sleep in a little bit, which is nice. And game time tomorrow is at 7 p.m., so get to relax around in the morning. Probably gonna do some homework and get some homework done that needs to get done by Tuesday. Um, we are also on break, too, so last game of the weekend tomorrow. Then we head to North Carolina on Monday to face Elon, and then our first weekend series of the ACC. We play NC State as I've mentioned before, so going to be a good matchup against those guys. But, so like I said, going to get some work done and uh, sleep in. Good morning, vlog. It's 10.30, just went down and got breakfast. Don't have anything until 3.20 today. That's when the scouting report is, as we play at like 6 o'clock tonight. So, going to be nice to have the later game, and then we are heading out tomorrow, as I've said, to North Carolina in the morning, I believe. I think we're leaving for the airport at like 10.30. Game on Tuesday at Elon, and then NC State on the weekend, as y'all know. Like I said, long week this week, so gotta make sure we're getting enough sleep and everything, eating and everything like that, so important to stay on top of that stuff. Don't wanna be sitting around all day before we leave for the game at 3.20, so gonna probably get up and moving around a little bit and just like maybe walk around, so I guess if I don't see you guys, then I'll see you at the field. Rips one over the leaping Boston Merla and into right center field. That's going to split the gap as Ryan Cole will head all the way around and he'll score and Notre Dame strikes first tonight. It's 1-0 at Minnesota. And there's a called strike three as Temple gets down Stanky there. The, uh, the confidence from Austin Temple, it's like it's radiating from the field. He Two is uh, clearly in command. Two strikeouts here in the third, and he picks up his third. He strikes out the side, his fifth strikeout tonight. It's not like it's a four-run game. And he strikes out. For oh. second base. This is knocked through the left side of the infield, and that's going to produce a run. Second run tonight, and they take a 2 to nothing lead. Fifth. Notre Dame will again attempt to bunt. Stanky as the run came across. Oh, what a stop at third base by Brannigan up to his feet and across. And there's a strikeout to end the seventh inning. Good morning, guys. It is travel day today. We beat three good teams, which is good for us. So going to be a long day today as we are flying to North Carolina. So I guess we will see how the day goes, but going to head down to the lobby, get some breakfast. Already have pretty much everything packed up. Just have to put some little things away before we go. And then we're packing the bus at like 945. It's about 8. 40 right now. Yeah, but that is the rest of the day. Yeah, so I guess cue the travel montage. Got into Raleigh last night. Huge game today for the boys against Elon. Just got back from breakfast, so leaving for the game in about an hour and a half, two hours. That's pretty much the morning so far. And then we've got scouting report and then batting practice. And then obviously it's game time. So uh, yeah, but I will see y'all at the field. And then you can't get a secondary. The 2-2. Two -two. It's gonna be strike three on the outside corner. And so two strikeouts in his collegiate debut for Jack Finley. Five starts at shortstop. Cassell is going to take off for second base, and he is gunned down. The 1-0 from Evans. It's going to be hit towards the 4-3 hole. It's through. One's going to score from the Irish. They will hold Lamana at third. Ready for the 4-1 play. The 1-1. It's going to be hit to third. Frontino can't make the play. It's going to get away from him. He will just eat it. That's going to be a hit deep now in the left center field gap. It's going back. It's going to be gone. And Tellier Lundquist waving goodbye to that ball. And so Notre Dame now eight runs here in the third inning. The 2-1. It's going to be laced back up the middle. And Notre Dame just keeps pouring it on. Preisner's going to score from second. 
the off-speed pitch to be hit down the right field line, tailing away from Aya Cerny, uh, lays out. The ball's going to get down in fair territory. This is going to be extra bases and multiple runs for the Irish. And Coates is going to go head back to second, but a two RBI double give him two extra base hits and five RBIs. As Marte will golf one in the left center field gap. It's going back and a great catch again by T.J. Williams. The 3-2. It's going to be strike three, throw down a second in time. And so a double play in the quality at bat by Bryce Jeske. And the ball back up the middle. It's going to be a base hit. Back up the middle. They're going to send Preisner home. There will be no throw. The 2-2. Two -two. Off speed pitch. Strike three called. And Notre Dame are your winners by the final score of 11-3. Got back from the game. Huge win for the Irish. Won 11 to three. Also got into the game today. Pitched the last inning. Had three strikeouts. So productive day for everyone on the mound. Overall pitched really well as a staff. And obviously we hit really well. Scored 11 runs. So that's always good. Getting some arm care in now. We're in the gym. Me and Radic. <laughs> Gonna do some post throw and then uh, head back to the room. It's like 8.30 right now, probably 9 o'clock actually, so let's do some arm care. guys that is going to do it for this vlog hope you all enjoyed if you haven't already give this video a nice thumbs up also hit that subscribe button down below and click that little bell so you guys can get notified every single time i post a new video and also as you guys have seen from the beginning of this video the merch site is live super excited to get merch out to you guys finally the merch can be up in this corner right here so click this little link right up here it'll take you right over to the merch site or also click the link down below like i said hope you guys enjoyed this video and also like i said check out the merch and i will see y'all in the next one peace guys